Noong 1997, nang magsimula ang usaping pangkapayapaan sa pagitan ng gobyerno at ng Moro Islamic Liberation Front o MILF, isang taon makalipas malagdaan ang Final Peace Agreement ng gobyerno at ng Moro National Liberation Front o MNLF. Kasabay nito ay ang pagbuo ng isang kasunduang naglalayong matigil at maiwasan ng labanan sa pagitan ng kwersa ng gobyerno, ang Armed Forces of the Philippines at ng Philippine National Police laban sa Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces, ang armadong persa ng MILF, at ito ay ang Agreement on the General Cessation of Hostilities o ang Ceasefire Agreement. Ang passions of ACCH is to oversee the implementations of the implementing guidelines of the Ceasefire Agreement that uh, have been signed by the government uh, since 1997 and 2001. Uh, the main purpose of this uh, ceasefire mechanism is to ensure that uh, they, they build and to facilitate a uh, uh, very conducive uh, environment for negotiation. And uh, one of the uh, main functions of the CCH is uh, uh, the super preservation of peace in the conflict affected areas and also to oversee strict implementation and observance of uh, the non provocative acts and also the other. Uh, things that would, should be implemented uh, by the ceasefire. It also includes the verifications of the different uh, uh, areas uh, being affected by uh, the MILF conflict. Things that uh, can be considered as provocative acts are uncoordinated, uncoordinated movements uh, and also the expansion of territories. It also includes uh, the harboring of, uh, of lawless elements and also the includes uh, provocative statements in the media that will uh, un- undermine the confidence-building measures of both pa- parties. Uh, your provocative act uh, does not include uh, legal law enforcement and other administrative and operational matters that are being undertaken by uh, law enforcement units and armed armed forces. Uh, it also allows uh, movements of uh, MILF or MILF and uh, government forces uh, from one area to the other area provided that there is a strong coordination. So this is why mechanism ensures that uh, there is always strong coordination between uh, the uh, Philippine security forces, meaning the government forces, uh, the armed forces of the Philippines, the police and other law enforcement agencies uh, with the uh, MIL. Ang Coordinating Committee on the Cessation of Hostilities o CCCH ay binuo upang masiguro ang pagpapatupad ng kasunduang tigil putukan sa pagitan ng mga armadong pwersa ng gobyerno at ng MILF. Mayroon ding mga mekanismong itinatag upang masiguro na ang ceasefire agreement ay naipatutupad. Ito ay ang Local Monitoring Team o LMT na itinatag sa iba't ibang probinsya sa Mindanao katulad ng Maguindanao, Lanao del Sur, Lanao del Norte, Sarangani, North Cotabato, South Cotabato, Sultan Kudarat at Basilan. Ang Joint Ceasefire Monitoring Post o JCMP naman ay isang mekanismong itinatag sa mga lugar na may mataas ang posibilidad ng ceasefire violation. Sa kasulukuyan, mayroong pitong JCMP na matatagpuan sa Barangay Dungguan, Alyosan, probinsya ng Cotabato, Barangay Kitango, sa munisipyo ng Dato, Saudi Ampatuan, Maguindanao, Barangay Dalyaw, sa Maasim, Sarangani, Tipo-Tipo, sa probinsya ng Basilan, maging sa bayan ng Poona, Piagapo, Lanao del Norte, Barangay Nanagun, sa munisipyo ng Butig, Lanao del Sur, at sa Barko-Barko, o ang tri-boundary ng Tulunan, Cotabato, Dato Paglas, Maguindanao, at Columbio, Sultan Kodarat. Sa kabila ng ceasefire sa pagitan ng gobyerno at ng MILF, Patuloy pa rin ng mga insidente ng mis-encounter sa pagitan ng dalawang pwersa, lalong-lalo na sa tuwing mayroong law enforcement operations ang gobyerno laban sa mga syndicated criminal groups sa mga lugar na may presensya ng MILF. Kung kaya noong 2002, binuo sa pamamagitan ng joint communique ng gobyerno at ng MILF ang Ad Hoc Joint Action Group o ADJAG upang ma-isolate at tuluyang masawata ang mga criminal syndicates at ang kidnap for ransom groups, kabilang na ang lost commands sa Mindanao. The ad hoc joint action group or ADJAL is basically a peace mechanism under the OPA. 
it was born out of the joint communique in, uh, that was uh, crafted by the uh, case panels in May of 2002. The ADJAD is actually uh, a coordinated body that is tasked to uh, inform, coordinate, and monitor information between and among the, the armed forces of the Philippines, the Philippine National Police, and the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces in order to effect the apprehension and the uh, uh, arrest of uh, criminal groups and criminal uh, individuals near or inside the MILF uh, community. Para lubusang maisaayos ang koordinasyon at mapabuti ang pagsagawa ng law enforcement operations sa Mindanao, ang gobyerno at ang MILF ay nag-issue ng implementing guidelines noong ikadalumput isa ng Disyembre taong 2004 at ang pinakahuli ay nitong ikalabinlima ng Pebrero taong 2012. Batay sa nakasaad sa pinakahuling implementing guidelines, saklaw di lamang ang criminal syndicates, kidnap for ransom groups at loss commands, kundi pati na rin ang iba pang masasamang elemento sa loob ng MILF areas o communities. Nilinaw sa nasabing dokumento na ang ADJAG ay isa lamang coordinative body upang maayos na maisagawa ang law enforcement operations ng PNP at ng AFP. The, the task of the ADJAG is more on law enforcement wherein uh, the uh, government troops, the AFP and the uh, PNP, will have to operate inside the MILF communities. But uh, the ADJA in itself is the one uh, coordinating the operation of these uh, government troops inside the MILF communities. The coordination is being conducted uh, in coordination with the uh, Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces through the MILF uh, ADJA, headed by Attorney uh, Abdul Dataya. So kung uh, titignan natin, Ang uh, ADJAG ang siya nagko-coordinate ng operasyon ng ating mga tropa sa MILF community is able to apprehend the criminal individuals and criminal groups. At ang pinaka-end state nito is the apprehension of these groups without any firefight in, uh, between them. The ADJAG operates in the areas of uh, Magindanao, Lanao, Sambuanga area, Davao area, Basilan and uh, Hulo. The Ajag has uh, is operating within the conflict uh, affected areas, and there uh, it is divided into uh, five team sites. Uh, the first uh, team or team one operates in the areas of uh, Maguindanao, North Cotabato, and Bukidnon, as well as in the cities uh, located in these areas. For team two. It operates in the Lanao provinces and the cities there at Team 3, Sambuanga Peninsula, Hulu or Sulu, Basilan and Tawi-Tawi and the cities uh, located there at For uh, Team 4, it operates in the areas of uh, Soksagen, Sultan Kudarat, South Cotabato and the cities located there at And for Team 5, it operates in the area of Davao region in Compostela Valley in the cities located there. So uh, basically, ang uh, adjag po ang uh, siyang uh, tumututok sa mga operasyon sa ating uh, kapulisan at ating mga kasundaluhan in cooperation or in coordination with the Bangsamoro Islamic Armed Forces and the MILF in the areas. Malaki na pong uh, bagay ang existence ng adjag considering the fact that we have successful operations already uh, for the past years and many of these uh, had led to the neutralization of many key personalities. Ang mandato ng ADJAG ay dumadaan sa yearly renewal batay sa rekomendasyon at desisyon ng GPH at MILF Peace Panels. Ang International Monitoring Team o IMT ay binuo noong ikasampu ng Oktubre taong 2004 upang masiguro na ang ceasefire agreement ay naipatutupad ng gobyerno at ng MILF. Sa pakiusap ng dalawang partido, ang IMT ay pinamumunuan ng Malaysia. Ito rin ay binubuo ng mga miyembro na nanggaling pa sa iba't ibang bansa tulad ng Brunei, Japan, Libya, European Union, Norway at Indonesia. The agreement is to oversee the ceasefire agreement based on the mandate given to us. 
mandate is to observe uh, and monitor the implementation of cessation of hostilities between the government of Philippines and the IFF. And second is to coordinate closely with the joint uh, government of Philippines and MILF, CCCH, and the LMTs in uh, verification and validation. And uh, the last is we have to conduct uh, the verification based on uh, the report or uh, the percent first and they verify what uh, uh, IMT Daily Operation covers mainly the code of Mindanao, inclusive of Pahlawan, of Pasu, uh, Pahlawan, Sulu, Tawin Kami, and uh, We have four teams uh, that is, uh, and one headquarters. Uh, the headquarters is in Kota Batu, plus team site one is also in Kota Batu. Uh, team site two is in Diligat, Diligat. Inside three is in Zamboanga and inside four is in Jackson. As for, informa for, for, for your information, the team side, team side one is uh, Brunei Lab, team side two, Indonesian Lab, team side three, Indonesian Lab, and team side four, Indonesian Lab. Sa kasalukuyan, mayroong tatlumput walong kasapi ang IMT. Labing anim sa mga ito ay galing sa bansang Malaysia. Siyam mula sa Brunei, dalawa sa bansang Japan, dalawa naman sa Norway, at siyam mula sa Indonesia. Magkahalong militar, pulis at sibilyan, ang komposisyon ng IMT ayon na rin sa iba't ibang mandato ng kanilang ginagampanan, di lamang sa aspeto ng security, kundi pati na rin sa aspeto ng socio-economic assistance, humanitarian rehabilitation and development program, at ng Civilian Protection Component ng GPH-MILF Peace Negotiation. Parte rin ng mandato ng IMT ang pagsusubaybay ng implementasyon ng mga socio-economic projects ng Japan Bangsamoro Initiatives for Reconstruction and Development o JBIRD, pati na rin ang iba't ibang programa at proyekto ng iba't ibang bansa at ng gobyerno sa buong conflict-affected areas in Mindanao. Dahil sa mga mekanismong itinatag, Nabawasan kundi man tuluyang naiiwasan ang bakbakan sa pagitan ng pwersa ng gobyerno at ng MILF mula pa noong taong 2002. And then certainly, this is why mechanism with the inclusion of the AJA and the O2 and also with the inclusion of the International Monitoring Team, uh, you will see that, that there is a great decline of skirmishes, open skirmishes between the MILF forces and the, the government forces. In fact, uh, after the Alpaca incident in 2011, uh, we have a zero uh, skirmishes up to until uh, such time that we have this uh, very unfortunate incident in Mamasa Pano incident. Malinaw na ang CCCH, AJAG at IMT ay mga instrumentong nagpapanatili ng kaayusan sa aspeto ng seguridad sa loob ng negosasyon sa pagitan ng gobyerno at ng MILF. Sa pamamagitan ng mga mekanismo ito ay matagumpay na naisulong at nalagdaan ang Framework Agreement on the Bangsamoro o FAB noong ikalabing lima ng Oktubre taong 2012 at ang Comprehensive Agreement on the Bangsamoro o CAB noong ikadalawang putpito ng Marso taong 2014. We do have our ceasefire mechanism that yes. has made sure that things are going well between the MILF and the uh, government forces. As the signing of the FAB, we have had zero hostility zero. between the AFP and the MILF. Uh, the good thing is that our ceasefire mechanisms have actually been able to be to address this and be part of the resolution and you know, both the breaking up, putting an end to the hostility and keeping the peace on the The ceasefire has been holding no single skirmish in the last three years. Uh, because of the ceasefire mechanisms.